Hey, it's Dougie from Valto, and in this video, I'm going to be telling you everything you need to know about Microsoft Copilot licenses. I'm going to be showing you a features table, which is comparing the free versus paid plan. I'm also going to be telling you the exact cost of the licenses and how you can get your hands on a free, fully funded by Microsoft Copilot readiness assessment. So let's jump in and look at the difference between the free Microsoft 365 Copilot chat plan and the Microsoft 365 Copilot premium license plan. Now, this actually is broken down into multiple areas. So we've got chat, agents, personal assistant, and Copilot control system. Now, fundamentally, we can see straight off the bat that we've got a chat feature, which is part of both the free and paid for plan. Now, almost everything is included in that chat. So if we look through these options, we've got Copilot chat, which is web grounded. Now this is the important part to note here. Web grounded means that it's powered by GPT-4 and it has access to basically all the knowledge um, that Copilot has as a chat interface. So think of it almost like as a direct competitor to ChatGPT. It's got all of its knowledge from the web, from online, from other websites, um, and that's where it's built up its knowledge. Um, the free plan also includes Copilot pages, uploading files into the chat interface, code in, uh, interpreter, and image generation as well. So you can create images um, by asking it, hey, Copilot, go and create this image for me of uh, a man riding a bike or something like that. It can also have the ability to upload files. So say, for example, you have got a um, document and you want it to proofread it for you. You can do that all using the free plan. Now, where we see, uh, and this is across the board, where we see the actual difference between the free plan and the paid for plan is that Copilot chat, when it's work grounded, as in work data in your tenants, Microsoft Graph and third party data via Graph Connectors, what we're basically saying here, this is a fancy way of saying, if it's acce accessing any data from Microsoft 365, as in your work documents, your Word documents, Excel, PowerPoints, Teams, uh, all that sort of stuff, anything that, that, that Copilot Chat is interacting with from Microsoft 365 requires a premium license for that. Next up, we have agents. Now with agents, this is basically where we can have um, dedicated bots for specific things like, for example, having a IT support desk or a chat interface where people can um, request new uniforms or devices or things like that. Now, agents um, does have a few things included as part of the free plan, which is creating agents using Copilot, including SharePoint agents. Uh, discover and pin agent and use agents grounded on web data. So you can do this as part of the free plan. However, you will hit a few kind of issues um, such as using agents grounded in work data. Um, obviously, you're going to need a premium license for that and use of agents that act independently using autonomous actions. Now, the reason why there's a green triangle here and it's a little bit misleading um, is the fact that actually there are thresholds in place and you potentially could be paying more um, for your life, uh, basically for your usage of these agents. But most people aren't necessarily thinking about using agents right now. And agents really, I suppose it's a little bit of a kind of, um, uh, it, it, it's a bit confusing because actually what we're talking most about is the use of Microsoft 365 Copilot, which agents is something that's slightly different. So I think actually think of it as two different things, although you can create them and draft them up uh, on a free plan. To actually use them properly, you will need a Copilot license. Then we come on to the biggest noticeable difference here, which is the personal assistant uh, category. Now, this again is the night and day difference where we can see if you want to use Copilot to reason over personal work data, as in Outlook, OneDrive, meeting transactions, uh, transcripts, sorry, you're going to need a premium license for that. So you need a premium license if you want to use, for example, Copilot inside of Microsoft Teams to look at meetings, recap meetings, give insights um, into the, what happened in a meeting, decisions that were made, people that attended, who said what and when, basically the minutes and actions from a Teams meeting. Or if you wanted it to look at your emails in Outlook and prioritize your inbox based on patterns and who you're talking to, on a frequent basis, as well as scheduling focus time, 
booking in one-to-one -one meetings, drafting agendas, and summarizing message threads. Also, in Copilot in Word, we've got the ability to have suggestions to structure a document, make it flow a bit better, change the tone of voice, drafting and summarizing documents. Inside of Copilot, uh, sorry, inside of Copilot in Excel, we've got the ability for it to generate us Python code, getting started experiences, creating formulas, calculated columns, visualizations, charts, uh, all using natural language. So if you're like me and I'm not um, the world's best person at using Excel, you can use Copilot to help you not only analyze, but generate insights and charts and other visualizations, um, all just using Copilot. Then we can also use Copilot inside of PowerPoint. So this builds us out a narrative builder, so we can build out suggested slide patterns, presentation uh, translations, generating slides of, of images and aligning to company branding. Um, as well as that, uh, we also have, as I say, Copilot actions. So if you're wanting it to go off and do a very custom workflow or even use some of the pre-built custom workflows inside of the uh, Microsoft 365 agents, like the interpreter, the facilitator, the project manager, and the employee self-service, you're going to need a premium license for all of those things. Now, one of the questions I often get asked is, well, if I was looking at the free version of Copilot, why is that different to something like ChatGPT? Now, the difference is if your employees are using ChatGPT, you'll have zero control over what data they're putting out there and having a security and governance control over all of that. Whereas actually by even using the free plan of Copilot, you can see here we have enterprise data protection, IT management controls, and agent management all built in using that free plan. Now, if you want additional security controls over Microsoft Copilot, then the premium licenses will also bring in SharePoint Advanced Management, which means you have much more control over um, your SharePoint, OneDrive, document storage spaces, things like that. We have Copilot Analytics to measure the usage and adoption. So with this premium license, you're also getting a good insight of who's using Copilot, what are they using it for, their consumption, things like that. And we also have some pre-built reports in that advanced analytics area to help us measure the return on investment because at the end of the day, the costs of Copilot aren't exactly cheap. So we want to make sure we're getting the best return on investment for uh, our, our investment into those Copilot licenses. Now we can see, as I promised before, we talk a bit about costs. You can see that this slide here is talking about the licenses at this point in time when this video was recorded being 30 US dollars per user per month. Now, if you're in the UK, we also can offer you it in uh, Great British Pounds, which is essentially, if you have a kind of upfront pay for the year, um, the licenses will be £23.10 as an annual subscription. Now, if you wanted to pay that monthly, again, there is still an annual commitment, but you can pay it monthly, which uh, slightly increases the cost to £24.26 per month. But again, that includes all of the kind of features that we're looking at here, all these premium features on the right-hand side. Now, if you are looking at getting started with Microsoft Copilot, I would strongly suggest booking in a uh, Copilot assessment. Now you can book this in using the link in the description of this video. It's completely free. It's worth just under 3,000 pounds, but it's completely free. It's fully funded by Microsoft, which gives you a free assessment. Um, we will be basically looking at um, three core areas, one being security, one being licenses, and the final being optimization. And then we can give you a scoring based on all three of those areas. We're looking at security from a perspective of say Microsoft uh, sort of 365 tenant security level, uh, your SharePoint permissions, and basically making sure that you're not going to have any security leaks <clears throat> or breaches once you apply Copilot over the top of it. So the reason why we say this is because you might already have some areas of your Microsoft 365 which is exposed to users, but you, you aren't aware of it because users would have to manually go and look for it. Whereas Copilot doesn't see things in a kind of two-dimensional way. It sees it in its own three-dimensional way where it can easily go and access information. So say, for example, if you had accidentally shared a file which had in there the CEO's uh, annual salary, um, a user might not necessarily know that they can go and find that inside of a SharePoint or team site. However, if they ask Copilot, 
hey, what does the CEO salary look like? Uh, Copilot is going to go and find that because if they already have access to it, it's going to show them that information. So we, we want to make sure security is tight as possible. We're also going to be looking at licensing. So we're going to make sure that you've got the best price possible for your uh, not only Copilot licenses, but all your other Microsoft 365 licenses and making sure you're getting the most out of those licenses when you're using Copilot. Then we're going to look at optimization. So this is making sure that you've got everything properly structured, as in, do you have a team structure? Do you have SharePoint structured? What's OneDrive structured like? Um, and all the rest of the potential configurations inside of your Microsoft 365 tenant is properly optimized for the use of Copilot. Then we can give you a Copilot readiness score. Along with that is a full report, a summary report, which gives all of the recommendations that we find during this audit. Now, you can action all of these yourself if you wanted to. If you want to take the report away, uh, you, can, you can action these yourself. Or Valto can even provide a fixed price for us to resolve those issues on your behalf. As I, I say, if you want to book in this free assessment, there's a link in the description below. And we look forward to hearing from you today.